COVID-19 cases in the country are on the rise once again. Let's talk about the impact on hospital admissions with, uh, with Dr. Jose de Grano of the Private Hospitals Association of the Philippines. He joins us now over Zoom. Good afternoon, Dr. De Grano. There has been a consistent uptick in COVID-19 cases here in the Philippines. Uh, are we seeing a concurrent mm -hmm. rise in hospitalization rates? And are you guys also seeing an increase in the hospitals? Uh, yeah, yes, of course, we, we noted an increase uh, in the number of cases of COVID right now. But uh, while trying to monitor the uh, hospital uh, utilization of our private hospitals, there is very a slight increase only in the number of cases admitted. So most probably the symptoms uh, are being given by these uh, new cases are just mild to moderate and they uh, just wanted to know, uh, they, they just stayed at home or for self-quarantine. All right. Well, would you know, uh, Dr. DeGrano, which areas or regions are seeing the most uptick in cases or COVID-19 admissions, if any? Aside from uh, NCR, there are some cases uh, uh, in Region 3 and Region 4 and some in uh, the Visayas uh, area. Yeah. All right. Um, so as we know, a lot of these uh, cases are driven by Omicron subvariants, not just here, but around the world. Um, as cases pick up, Dr. DeGrano, uh, is this a cause for concern still among hospitals uh, or private hospitals? And are you still preparing yourselves for, you know, in an event such as a big, big surge that we have seen in the past two years? Well, uh, because the symptoms are only mild to moderate, then uh, if you can see for the past uh, probably several weeks, we have not uh, experienced any uh, really increase in the number of admissions of uh, uh, severe COVID cases. So the, pro the hospitals are really prepared for that. Mm -hmm. But for any surge in the number of cases, the only limitation that we have is uh, if uh, it's if the hospital beds or the if there are no more uh, healthcare workers available to take care of the COVID cases in case uh, there is a surge of uh, these cases. That's right. Well, as we all know by now, um, hospital occupancy rate is among the metrics that are being considered when you know the government adjusts the alert level status. At this point in time, do you think it's time to escalate to alert level two? A lot of people, you know, especially online, have been talking about this. No, I don't think so. Right now, uh, if we try to monitor the admissions in the private hospitals, there's just a very slight increase in hospital, say, hospital utilization rate. So that means that the most of these cases just uh, are being managed at home or by self-quarantine. Right. Um, let's talk about something other than COVID-19, Dr. DeGrano. There's also been a lot of cases of non-COVID admissions going up in hospitals right now. Can you tell us the situation on the ground? The other non-COVID cases, of course, aside that the, the infectious cases, uh, they noted there increase. Uh, there is a noted increase in the number of uh, dengue cases, especially in the Visayas, also in some areas in uh, in northern Luzon and uh, in southern Tagalog. But then, uh, of course, uh, we'll have to take note of the or keep on monitoring of, regarding these cases. This is not an infectious one like uh, COVID. You know, this is is uh, caused by a, a mosquito vector, not really uh, infectious. All right, and you also have been mentioning many times in the past, Dr. DeGrano, that some of our healthcare workers have still not received their COVID-19 allowances mm -hmm. from the government. Do you have any update on this? Yes, that's the, the real problem that's uh, actually uh, being experienced by our healthcare workers now. And now uh, the Department of Health and the other uh, centers for health development are trying to say that uh, the problem is with uh, the hospitals because they are supposed to be submitting some form of, you know, uh, liquidation 
of the different uh, of the previous SRAs that were given to the hospitals. But uh, they were they are only saying that now, and you know uh, that's the problem because uh, that was not part of the guidelines that were given before the OCA or the one COVID allowance was uh, announced to these hospitals. And so we were trying to tell them that uh, if there are really some funds that are that needs to be liquidated, then they have to submit this or they have to talk to their own uh, centers for health development. Right. One last question, Dr. DeGrano. What about PhilHealth? Have they been paying back private hospitals to what they are due? Well, in spite of the fact that uh, there are still a lot of, uh, of uh, uh, you know, uh, denied claims that are not being paid, slowly they are paying us. So in some hospitals that have experienced almost uh, less than 50 percent, now they are saying that they are being given around more or less around 70 to 80 percent, uh, despite it being very, you know, you know uh, what they call is patak patak only, you know, uh, very slowly. But then at least uh, they are receiving uh, some reimbursements from Bill Health right now. All right, thank you so much for your time as usual. That was P-Happy President Dr. Jose De Grano joining us via Zoom. Thank you, Doc.